Hi friends, it's so good to see you today. We have a great Bible story that I can't wait for you to hear. Before we head over to see Ollie, will you hop up on your feet for some fun worship time? Here it comes. clubhouse look beautiful? I just love Christmas. It's my very favorite time of the year. My friends and I have been reading the Christmas story and I've learned all about Mary, Joseph, and baby Jesus. I just love hearing all about the Christmas story. So earlier today when my cousin Sasha and I were making Christmas gingerbread cookies, I thought to myself, I want to decorate my cookie to look extra special. So I'm going to decorate my cookie like Baby Jesus. Do you want to help me decorate this cookie? It's my favorite. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Zoe. Who? Who? 
decorating Christmas cookies, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. I've been learning all about the Christmas story, so I wanted to decorate my gingerbread cookies like Mary, Joseph, and baby Jesus. I'm so excited. I can't wait to show my cousin. The Christmas story is the best story ever told. It's true. And I'd like to share it with you. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Oz got a Bible story for me and you. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Oh. Hi, friends. I'm Justin the Mailman. It's almost Christmas. Are you getting excited? Me too. And so are these people. So many Christmas cards to deliver today. But none more important than this one. It's our story mail. Are you ready for the next part of the true story of Christmas? Great. Here we go. Okay, so the true story of Christmas began when an angel told a girl named Mary she was going to have a baby. And the baby was going to be super special because, drum roll please, he was God's son. That's right, God loves us so much that he gave us his son Jesus. Today's story is about when Jesus is born. Oh, I'm so excited. Look, it's Mary and Joseph. What's Mary riding on? Can you guess what animal that is? A donkey. You're right. What does a donkey say? Can you do it? Are you ready? Hee-haw, hee-haw, hee-haw. Great job. Mary and Joseph needed an animal, like a donkey, to get to the town of Bethlehem. When they got to Bethlehem, they needed to find a place to stay. Joseph knocked on the door of an inn. Everybody knock with me. Ready? Knock, knock, knock. The innkeeper said there was no room for them inside, but they could stay in the stable out back. So Mary and Joseph had to sleep in a stable where all the animals stayed. Listen, what animals do you hear? It's a cow. That's right. Hmm. What's this one? A chicken, that's right. How about this one? A sheep, that's right. What about this one? That's not an animal. What is that? It's a baby. Jesus, God's son, was born. Everyone do a whisper, yay. Ready? Yay. Mary wrapped the baby all up and put him in the manger. Wow, the most special baby in all the world had been born. This is why we celebrate Christmas. Jesus, God's son, was born. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, why is Jesus special? Jesus is God's son. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, why is Jesus special? Jesus is God's son. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Happy birthday, Jesus. See you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. Baby Jesus was born as a gift to me and you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, that really is the best story ever told. And the best part is, it's all true. I'm so happy Jesus is born, aren't you? I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I'm gonna wrap up my baby Jesus cookie, just like Mary did, baby Jesus. Aw, so sweet. Happy birthday, Jesus! I better start decorating my cookie. I'll see you all next time. Merry Christmas! I love hearing all about when Jesus was born. Jesus is so special. Friends, can you tell me why is Jesus special? 
Jesus is God's son. Say it with me. Why is Jesus special? Jesus is God's son. There's a great Bible verse that can help you to remember that too. Do you remember this month's verse? Will you stand and practice it with me? Here we go. God loved the world so much that he gave his only son. John 3:16. Good. One more time. God loved the world so much that he gave his only son. John 3:16. Awesome job, friends. Be sure to practice that verse this week. And remember that God loves you so much. Goodbye. We'll see you later. Mm-hmm.